Hello guys and welcome. I'm sorry, I'm whispering. Um, really guys, I'm really sorry about all the um, like I can't post too many videos because of all the testing and stuff. But um, I will post a bunch during the weekend. I'll try. And I have to move this little thing in the middle around, or the screen will be black for you, and that's bad. So now we're gonna watch Buzzfeed Yellow, Married Under Twenty Five, the Craigslist, the Craigslist tech couch. Okay. Um, I'm almost at 200, and I'm super excited about that. So, let's get started. No, I just got comfortable. Oh. Oops. I'll get a paper towel. No, it's fine. I got it. What? I think it's time we replace the futon. What's wrong with the futon? It's really rickety and lumpy. Well, if you know where the lumps are, you can work around them. The cover is gross. Get a new cover. Besides, we're saving up for Sasquatch Fest. Yes. Come on, it's Friday. Let's get blitzed and fall asleep watching some North British people. Oh my god, guys. How do you feel about a road trip? I know. Mm -hmm. Let's get you some pants. Where are we road tripping to? I got a lead on the Rolls Royce of used couches. It's going to class up our whole apartment. Oh. Oh, what? I just thought we were doing something fun. It's going to be fun. Besides, I just want to get something comfortable for you to pass out on after a beer and a half. It was two whole beers. What are we going to do with the futon? I don't know. Move it toward the dumpster and hope it doesn't become a love nest for that pack of feral polyamorous cats. We're just throwing it away? Katie, you've had that thing since you were 14. Exactly. I just think it's time our place be a little less college dorm and a little more Adult. comfortable for us, for everyone. The last time your parents visited, your dad refused to sit on that futon because of these suspicious stains. So this is about impressing my parents. Is this about the wedding? Is what about the wedding? I know we made a few compromises. A few? I wanted converses and food trucks, and we had a sit-down dinner, and I wore heels. And you looked amazing. I know. We're here. Fantastic. I don't know where I'm going. Aren't Rolls Royces supposed to be really, really nice? I don't really know cars. But it has good bones. Boy, is it comfortable. Carl Lightshow. How are you? You must be Mike. Yes. Okay, your girlfriend? Katie. My wife. All right. Well, aren't you too adorable? I assume you're here to get this couch off our lawn? Not so fast here. <laughs> well, we got to do something about it soon, honey. The grass is starting to die. Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to move this out to the curb. Now, would you guys say you eat or drink on and around your furniture? As opposed to eating and drinking over the sink? Well, I mean, a glass of water, a cup of tea is fine, but tomato soup, I mean, come on. We're very responsible with our things. Satisfied? Yeah. Um, listen, do you guys use furniture for its intended purpose? Sitting with your feet on the ground, not on the cushions. The occasional nap. Or a full night's sleep. It's fine, but the thing is, if you guys treat this couch well, it'll treat you well. For the love of God, Carl. You know, if you want to go inside, I can take care of this. Can you? Let me handle this, woman. You said it was 150 right? I brought cash. You so. are being so melodramatic about this. We just updated all of our furniture, and this piece no longer matches our decor. Well, I no longer have a place to sit. What about the Stevenson? It's beautiful. The Stevenson is a torture device. My tailbone is bruised and battered. That's because you don't have an ass. It's not the Stevenson's fault. 
He loves this sofa. We cannot take it away. Maybe he's just not giving this new couch a chance. So what? Just because we make six figures now, I can't afford a comfortable place to sit? I gotta sell my favorite couch to a couple of interns. Hey, I'm on your side. I'm an assistant. So I'm not supposed to want nice things? I'm not supposed to want any furniture that my husband hasn't pissed all over? That was one time, and I was blackout drunk. Oh, really? Well, you gonna try to tell me that you're not drinking anymore? You know, I got a Scotch Guard warranty on that. You can lift that right up. Be honest. You guys really in the market for a piece of furniture that my husband has power washed with his man hose? At least twice. Probably more. Give us a second. I don't want to peek out. Maybe with the Scotch Guard. Michael! I'm sorry. I just spent a lot of time on Craigslist, and this was easily our best bet. We could try Ikea. Ikea? Seriously? What's next? We give up grilled cheese and chicken fingers? We figure out the whole 401k thingy? We move into the burbs because baby number three is on the way? Is updating our furniture going to become a thing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't care about updating our furniture. So you don't want a Stevenson someday? Sweetie, I don't even know what that is. I just wanted to do something nice for you. Our futon is starting to literally hurt you. Look, will you two please give this couch a loving home before I murder my harpy of a wife? He's gonna try to drown me with piss. That guy definitely peed on this thing more than twice. It reeks. I don't think I can go on Craigslist again. Yeah, I don't trust you to go on Craigslist again. I'm driving home. All right. I can't believe you thought a couch meant I wanted to get you pregnant. You do want to get me pregnant. Yeah, but not soon. True. Sure. <laughs> Only pillow top or nothing. I am a lady of class. <laughs> that was nice. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Love you. Let's get to 200.